Hey everybody, Alexandra Swirl here. Okay, new day, new cup project. Uh, I am going to start. I have this 30 ounce skinny straight. I have sanded, washed, and base painted it. This is sort of a French vanilla, Rust-Oleum. Uh, as you can see, if I put it against the white paper, it is, it is slightly off-white. That was my, I'm going for an old world <laughs> sort of look here. Um, I have this beautiful single sheet, so you know, no pressure, one shot deal of tissue paper printed in Italy and sold by Joggles. I will link to everything below as always in the description area, which is underneath the title of the video. And I think it's lovely. I have trimmed it so it will fit all the way around going this way with a little gap above and below. The trick is to get it straight. That's always the trick. Uh, so rather than putting Mod Podge on and ending up with uh, wet paper that will probably wrinkle, although, you know, that would lend itself to a chic, shabby, retro, vintage sort of look. But I'd like to try and get it on there without wrinkles and bubbles. So I have gone the tack it over and over method. This is Aline's tack it over and over, mixed with just a little bit of water, just to make it easier to brush on smoothly. I'm going to brush it onto my cup. I'm not going to worry about the very upper and lower rim because the paper won't be going there. And I'm going to brush it on, let it dry for 15-20 minutes or so, and then use the tacky factor to place my paper on the cup where I want it. And hopefully if I screw it up, because it's, it's a little tricky getting it perfectly straight, maybe I'll be able to pull it off and reposition it without damaging the paper. It is very, very delicate paper, so I don't know. So I'm going to leave this to dry. We will be back in about 15 minutes or so when it's good and tacky, and I'll see you then. Okay, we're back. I'm going to give this a try now. This is dry but tacky. Now, I had a couple little marks on here. <laughs> oh, look, a bug. Springtime. All right. See how, oh my gosh, look at that. I got, I got really freaking close. Hot diggity, I'll take it. I will take it. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I have this pretty butterfly washi tape. I could put that down there. All right, that is really pretty. Okay, now before I before I do anything else, let's take it outside and spray seal it. Okay, I'm gonna mix up, I have two 30 ounce skinny straights here. Each one could easily hold 20 milliliters. So I'm gonna mix up, I'm actually gonna mix up two ounces, 60 milliliters of epoxy resin. I'm gonna use liquid stone 
from KS Resin because I don't need anything but good coverage. And that is my go-to for good coverage. I'm going to mix in my Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink. Provides a little sparkle. And I'm gonna apply it and uh, we will come back and see how it looks when we're done. I may actually put some vinyl around the top and the bottom, maybe a strip of gold, just to make it look snazzier. So sit back and watch the show. And we're back. All right, I put about 20 to 25 milliliters of resin on this first layer. And uh, an interesting thing happened. I, I should have anticipated this, I guess, but I've never worked with this rice paper before. And I think you can see, if you look, uh, it's very, very, very bumpy. And I didn't expect that, but what it, what it is, is the paper is extremely fibrous in, it's almost, it's almost hairy. There are little, I don't, I don't think, even with a close-up, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure you can see it, I can. Little hairs, I mean really, that's, it's paper fiber, but it looks like little hairs sticking up from the rice paper. So, um, what I'm going to do is ever so slightly sand this with a very fine grit and see if I can basically just rub off the hairs that are sticking up and then put another coat of epoxy resin on it and it should be done. done. It should be fine at that point. I am not gonna, I'm, I will offer this in my Etsy shop. It will be a one-off because these sheets of rice paper cost almost $4 just for one and you only get one on a cup and it's it. So I am not going to start stocking these incredibly expensive imported from Italy rice papers. Uh, so this will be a one of a kind as far as my Etsy shop is concerned anyway. <laughs> but I'll bring you back for the big reveal at the end after I do a little sanding of some hairy things off my cup. And uh, we will take a look at the finished cup at that time. So stay tuned. This turned out so gorgeous. I am in love with this cup. Look at that and how beautiful it is. The extra sparkle. The gold band at the top and the gold band at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be happier with how this, how this turned out. What a great gift for butterfly lovers. Mother's Day. Look, the washi tape strip even looks almost sort of like it belongs there. Oh gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think using the uh, slightly off-white base paint lent it, um, oh I don't know, a more vintage look, more boho look. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but I like it a lot better than I think I would like um, plain white as a background. I just think that's stunning. Thanks everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.